Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And today I'm sharing with you a unique instrument from the people at Luson Drums. I want to thank Carson and Ed for supplying this demo so I can bring you a short review and give you my thoughts on this instrument. So this is handcrafted in the US of A. Uh, the first thing I noticed was how beautiful this top is. I want you to look at this. I'm assuming this is mahogany, but it's just gorgeous. It uh, reflects the light in a unique way, and I am mesmerized by the beauty. But we're here to talk about sound and features and things like that. Um, I'm not getting paid for this. I just want you to know they did send me the sample, so that's my full disclosure. All right, so this is a bongo cajon, which means it has two different pitched playing areas, and uh, a high side and a low side. Right off the bat, you've probably noticed because you're very observant, that there is this movable snare plank. I don't know the, all the terminology they use. I'm making up my own. So this is a piece of wood and it has a snare on it. It has one side. You, I'm assuming you could have another snare if you wanted. You could have two snares. Right now, it's got one and um, it's also got these little guys. But what, what that does, of course, is it provides a snare sound. And the thing I like about this is it's very sensitive, first of all. So it works at an, in a wide dynamic range. It's also very simple. You basically have this taped on or Velcroed on and it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little rustic um, in the construction, but it works and it, it works well, I think. Now, the thing is, we can take this off because it's held on by these, basically they're like guitar strap end pins, and we can shift this over and we can change the snare sound from high to low, for example. All right, the other feature that is pretty new on this instrument is it's got these resonator covers, resonator box covers. So most cajones are gonna have an opening, right? That's open all the time. So you'd have um, a more resonant sound happening. These actually tighten it up and I just had it covered. So I wanna play it for you without the cover on. So that's the high side. Let's move it a little bit. So it changes the pitch automatically. And then when you get to a certain point, it's gonna really dry up the sound. So that focuses the sound on the head, you know, the head tone, let's call it that, the wood tone. But then as I open it, or if I open it up all the way, now I'm getting a fuller sound. I'm getting not only the top, but also the resonation inside. And let's hear what that sounds like on the other side, on the low side. So here's just the head. Let me take the snares off. I'm getting a little bit of cymbal vibration from a setup I have over there. So that's not the drum, if you can hear that. And let's open that up. Now, I don't know how much of that low you can hear. If you're watching this on a smartphone or tiny computer speakers, you're not gonna be able to hear that. But what I hear is a much fuller low sound coming in. So that's kind of nice. Um, it adds a lot of body, a lot of bass to the sound. So I'm gonna open up both of these now. I'm gonna play them both open. So even if you're playing flat-handed, like a bass tone technique, we're still getting sound. And that could be really nice for indoor drumming, gentle drumming, drumming with people that don't have much technique. So I like this as just a little laptop instrument. Uh, if I back off and use uh, like an open tone technique or even a slap technique, I can get more sounds out of it. And this is really kind of getting into conga pitch territory. So that's sort of exciting. Let's put the snare on. Let me 
switch that snare to the high side, that's probably where you're gonna have the snare most of the time, but who knows? I mean, that's the nice thing, it's up to you. So these little clackerty clacks, I don't know what they're called. I'm assuming they're clackerty or clacker, clacker doodles. That, I think that's the technical term for them. Um, those are nice. They just come off with Velcro and you can use them or not use them. If you wanted to use them for something else, you know, you could, maybe you could play dominoes or something. I don't know. You figure it out. All right. So those are simple, again, simple and effective. I think that's the theme for this instrument. Um, I do want to talk about construction for a second. I want to show you the, the, the top or the, the front because this thing is built, it's built to last. It's built really strong. Look at this. These joints are crazy. Um, nice plywood, you know, it's not, this is high quality material. I'm assuming this is birch, so all this, it just feels really solid. Uh, the top, again, beautiful mahogany. And the only thing I would change about this, and this is just, you know, my first impression, having had this a very short period of time, um, I prefer when the cajones don't have super sharp top edges. It's not really a problem, but I think for people that don't have developed technique, or for beginners, or even for, for professionals like me who just would prefer not to have to worry about getting stabbed in the palm <laughs> with a corner, um, I would like these corners to be rounded a little bit. I think also I would prefer, just for me, and this is a tiny point, I would prefer these to open the same way. In other words, this has got an, a little um, Phillips head screwdriver that, or Phillip, Phillips head screw that I did have to tighten down a little with a screwdriver because it was a little loose. I would prefer if this side matched the other side in as much as this one is on the bottom, so it closes that way. This one is on the top, so it closes this way. But when I feel them and I want to open them, I feel like I feel like they have to go in the opposite direction. They do kind of. So they kind of open and close in the opposite direction. And to me, that's a little weird. I don't know. That's just me. All right. So I would prefer both the screws to be on the top or the bottom so I could just know which way I'm going and do it with a parallel motion instead of like that. Uh, a small point, but something that I would prefer. Again, let me play the closed sound for you. Open. the snare. And you can really kind of smack this thing, you know, you don't have to be gentle with it. Okay, so I want to thank uh, Carson and Ed from Loose on Drums. I'll leave a link below if you want to go to their website and check it out. This is the Bongo Cajon Tab, Bongo Cajon, Laptop Cajon. You can wear it like I am in a seated position with the strap around your low back so it doesn't slide off. You can also adjust the strap so you can wear it around your shoulder or neck and walk around and play and visit all your friends and play Cajon for them, which they will probably enjoy. All right. So if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel. I want to thank all of our patrons who uh, help support this channel at patreon.com slash Kalani. I'm Kalani. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in a future video.